Welcome back to Doing It With Jason. I am Jason and today I'm going to be making a pretty cool play button. Uh, this is zebra wood. It's an exotic zebra wood. Uh, my daughter asked me this morning to make a play button for her special favorite, one of her favorite YouTubers. Uh, and it's going to be really cool. Let me show you guys what we got here. So we have some wood. We have some metal. This is pewter. And then we have a crucible to melt our pewter ingot and we're going to be using some fire definitely uh don't recommend doing this without a parent or you know someone who is somewhat familiar with it so we will uh get started right now All right, so now we'll go, go back to the top view. Basically, I'm using a little uh, torch here and a little crucible. I'm gonna wanna start heating it up and it might be a little noisy or whatnot. So what is up, Costume Co? How's it going? Uh, well, yeah, thanks for stopping by. And anyone there uh, wants to stop by and say hi, just, you know, go ahead and do that. Well, forgot one of the first important steps here, getting all ahead of myself here. You definitely want safety, so we're gonna be using one of these. We don't want to melt our face in case something explodes or whatnot or some metal comes flying because it's really dangerous. This metal's got to get up to at least 400 degrees uh, minimum. So yeah. So yeah, wear a mask thingy. It's plastic. It should help. Well, I guess we'll find out. So it might sound a little funny me talking under it, but you know what? We're going to have some flames going. And the gloves I'm using are uh, some welding gloves. They seem to work pretty well. I haven't done this in about a year. I made one for uh, someone else and done a lot of metal inlaying and stuff just for fun. So we're going to just try this out and see if it works. So basically we're just heating up the metal right now, getting it nice and warm, it's going to liquefy, and that's what we're going for. While we're heating it up, which we pause for a second, uh, when I did the wood inlay, I did this already. I cut a piece of uh, zebra wood. I guess I should have started from the beginning, eh? But if you're just joining, it's perfect timing because, yes, I do have another tutorial making the plaque, and it is somewhere in our list. We made it for popular MMOs and some uh, YouTubers my daughter really likes as well. That's, that one's for my older daughter. We sent it to them. They have a video on them receiving it. It was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, getting way ahead of myself. What I did was I routed the, you know, the little triangle for the YouTube uh, emblem. And you can't just normally route it with a router. What I mean by router is it's a machine that you basically can handhold. It carves grooves and things. I'll show you what a router looks like. A router looks like this. So this is what I used. I uh, just freehanded it and cut the diamond, in, not diamond, but the uh, triangle into it. And then I use a dovetail bit similar to this. What a dovetail is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's the tail of a dove. It separates and spreads. So as it's going inside of the wood, it's actually making a lip. So that way the metal just will not fall out. Because if you just go straight down with a straight bit that's not angled like this one, <coughs> what happens is the metal kind of heats and can, you know, and the wood moves around a little bit. And if you shake it upside down, you have a really good possibility of the wood, uh, you know, releasing the metal. So we don't want to, do, we, you know, we don't want that to happen. We want it to be completely secure. And also I'll be showing you guys how to uh, epoxy it. We're going to put an epoxy finish on after we get this all done. So it'll give it a really cool shine and, you know, just a lot of fun. But if you guys have any questions, especially while this is heating up, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll uh, try to answer them for you. But it's really fun when the metal actually starts liquefying because when you pour it, it is really cool to watch. And as you can see, the metal is starting to liquefy. It doesn't take too long to get it too hot. And this is a lead free shooter. But I don't recommend using lead because it's very dangerous. 
This is a really good scooter that I found. Uh, it's available on Amazon. I think I have a link below. As well as, you know, anything else I'm using in this tutorial. So as you can see, it's definitely got a nice liquid form here. You can also heat it up using, you know, some underneath as well. But I find doing it from the top always a little faster. All right, now we got it to a certain point, and what I'm going to do now is just kind of skim the top for any dirt. So basically just some kind of piece of metal, just get all the imperfections off of it. And as you can see, those are some imperfections. We want it to be nice and shiny and clean when it goes into the wood. So we still have a little bit more to melt, but I'm just kind of taking some time here and just scraping it all off. It leaves a skin on the top of the uh, metal, which is really cool. It makes it really easy to... Uh, come right off. And we'll take a little more off of here. And uh, what I did was I cut this off the ingot originally, uh, all the metal I needed, which was just a little bit. So. It doesn't take much to fill this thing up, which is pretty neat, especially it's only about a 16th inch deep, I think, maybe a, maybe a, a little heavy. Alright, that looks like it's just about hot enough. So we're going to go ahead and just start, let's see, and we'll get it a little warmer just to make sure. The main thing is you only have one shot to fill it. Uh, you can't come back and pour more in because it will not connect to the other metal because of the heat and all that stuff. It's not just hot enough. So there we go. And now there you go. What I do normally is shake it up a little bit. And as you can see, it's boiling and bubbling. It's very, very hot. But it starts cooling down pretty quickly and now is the part where you pretty much want the mask on and some kind of shield on you uh, because this can, uh, you know, pop. But what I've noticed is as long as the wood is dry, uh, which means the moisture level is pretty low, don't just try this with like a 2x4 from Home Depot or whatnot because uh, that wood is not dry in the least. It is, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, it is really cool. And so this is a really fun kind of experiment that I've tried about a year ago, uh, just off the, you know, hey, this sounds like a cool thing. So, and it works. <clears throat> so main thing is, yeah, the wood moisture has to be like cabinet grade, furniture grade material for the wood because any kind of moisture in there could pop. And if that pops, you saw how bubbly boiling that was, that could just blow up, release on you. And that would be a hospital trip and a half right there and probably a hole in you and all that stuff. So you don't want to do that. So we're going to let that cool a little bit. And then we'll go to the next step, which will be sanding it flush. You could just, uh, you know, leave it kind of high like it is right here. Let's see if you guys can see that. So right now it's not quite, look at that smoke. So good thing your TV protects you right here, guys. So uh, it's a little high, so we're going to sand it flush. Right there, you can kind of see it. We're going to go ahead and sand it flush with the uh, wood to give it a really cool inlay, you know, very nice looking deal. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. We're going to let this cool down just a little longer. Uh, we can start doing it now, but that's probably not good for a plastic sanding pad and all that good stuff. And the best part is when you have your leftover metal inside here, whatever you didn't use, you can kind of just, uh, depending on if it comes out or not, you could flip it over, pops right out, and then see, just leaving it right here, that's how hot it was, is burning the wood, that's why I didn't use my uh, actual table for this. Uh, but yeah, you're just ready to reuse that for the next time, just save it aside, you know, you got a little mini, little metal there for you, it's really nice. So, while we are waiting for this to cool, it'll probably be about another minute, we're going to go to a quick commercial that we made. Let's do it. Hi folks, I'm Billy Neumann, and I want to introduce you to the sensational Schmutz Rag! So you might be asking yourself, what the heck is Schmutz? 
What if you're on a hot date and you got chili dog running down your face? My Schwartz rag will clean your dang face. Milk mustache, forget about it! Burrito all over your lap? Give me a break! Grandma needs the Schmutz rag. Here's the sensational Schmutz rag in action. Transmission fluid and metal shavings? That's a whole lot of Schmutz. You dropped a sausage sandwich on your arm? Forget about it! But don't take my word for it. Hear what my incredible customer, Henry Winkler, has to say about it. So what you're telling me right now is, Henry Winkler, cancel. Because that's what I'm here. Right? Yeah? Yes? Why? 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 For $39.35. Wow, what a deal. Order my sensational Schmutz rag for just $19.95. And now, and I'll throw in the second sensational Schmutz rag for $39.35. Wow, what a deal. Order in the next 20 minutes, and I'll throw in a free sausage sandwich. All right, guys. Well, that was a fun commercial, and I think it's about time it's dry. We'll just say it is, and we're going to go for it. So the next thing we're going to do is learn how to use this darn thingy here. There we go. Sorry about that technology. All right, so I'm just going to use an orbital sander. I'm starting with 80 grit sandpaper, and I'm going to gently go over the top of the metal to start bringing it flush with the wood. <laughs> Sorry if it's a little loud, but I got the vacuum clean or uh, hooked to it, whatever you call that thing. But uh, it should come out pretty neat. You may just feel it, you keep on sanding. You see, now we got the metal just finally coming through. And if you guys have any questions, just you know, feel free to leave them in the comment section. We got plenty of time to answer whatever you guys are looking to answer. the metal is it leaves a nice little kind of charred mark around the wood because it's so hot when you pour it in uh, it just wants to heat up the wood a little I wouldn't recommend using other hotter melting metals such as aluminum and silver they might be a little too hot and would probably really this whole wood would have caught on fire it would have been just a you know more of a mess kind of like this I did it playing around with this one just to do it uh, this is inlaid as well and what I did was I poured it and then heated it up as well while it was melting and then it kind of torched the wood, gave it a really cool, like branded effect, I guess you could say. So we're gonna switch to uh, some, let's see, we're just gonna go right to 220 grit sanding real quick. So 
just uh, kind of clean it up a little bit and get it ready for the epoxy. on getting them their play button, you can make it for your favorite person and just, you know, make them something like this. So now, I'm not going to use my blower because it's obnoxiously loud, uh, but that's how it looks without any finish on it. <clears throat> so we're going to flip our nice piece of wood, get a nice clean little deal on it, and uh, move on to the epoxy portion of today's show. So you can use so many different things to uh, kind of seal it up. You know, you can use lacquer, you can use all kinds of stuff. but the epoxy is going to give it a really cool three-dimensional super duper shine. And uh, my favorite and most affordable epoxy, it's linked in the uh, description below, are these uh, made by Pro Marine Supplies. And it's super easy to mix. All you have to do is pour equal parts into your measuring cup. So you just want to get a measuring cup that's graduated uh, as in you could pour everything into one cup. I've seen, you know, some people just get two separate cups, fill it to the same line, then move it around. It's much easier to just find one that goes, you know, graduated measurement marks. So therefore you could just go half and then the other half with the other part. And one's a lot thicker. You put the thicker one in last, makes it a little easier to uh, stir together, you know, that sort of thing. And as long as you're pretty close on your measurements of half and half, you will be good to go. So now we are just going to sit here and stir it all up. So that's the main thing. Epoxy takes a little bit of stirring. It needs to activate and all that good stuff. So you don't want to rush that either. This is a no rush job here. You just take your time. Uh, go from heating up the pewter to... Sand. Yes, you have a question, Matthew Whitney. What is your question? Just let us know. Perfect timing for questions because you know what? We got to stir this stuff. And they recommend five minutes. So let's go. Uh, but yeah, you just want to stir it not too aggressively. You don't gonna go nuts with it because then you put some bubbles in it. But I have a super awesome technique of taking bubbles out that not too many people use and it works way better than like a torch and all that stuff like most people do. Uh, I have no idea how to find their fan mail address. Uh, you know, we got lucky and just so happened to run across it one day, but they have moved in case you guys have known. Uh, my, I have four kids and they're obsessed with popular MMOs and Pat and Jen and all the, and the new, Cloud's new channel. Um, so yeah, we uh, found their old address, but since then I guess they just moved and I have no clue. And it's not nice to get people's addresses out either. So I wouldn't actually give it if I knew their new address. But I don't have it, and I, you know, I wish I did. I'd probably send them some licorice or something. But uh, they do have a good channel, though. Really fun channel over there. And very family-friendly, which is number one on YouTube. Everything should be family-friendly, I think. 
there's other stuff and other platforms for non family friendly stuff but enough about you tube we're just on it so yeah we're going to stir this up they recommend about five minutes uh, of stirring so you know we're gonna we're gonna just keep on stirring here a little bit longer because like I said this is going to be an official uh, piece that you know hopefully is gonna last a long time and when this is all done because I won't be able to touch this again after we start pouring it on the back side we're gonna put uh, that is hot we're gonna it's still a little warm there guys we're gonna put just like a picture frame uh, dealy Game Quest, you hate unicorns. What? Well, what has a unicorn done to you? Unicorns aren't that bad. They're cool. If they were real, it'd be even better, right? But I mean, hey, if you want to hate unicorns, that's cool. It, it is pretty trendy to like unicorns, I guess. So, you know, whatever floats your boat is pretty cool with me. But uh, I'm going to be putting a picture frame dealy. You know, you have a, a picture of your family on the mantle and you have this little flap thing and you ate your lunch. That is awesome. What did you have, Game Quest? Love to know what you had your lunch. And anyone else watching, uh, please let us know what you ate today uh, because, you know, hey, we love food. Makes you, you know, live. Gives you energy and all that good stuff. So... We're going to continue mixing this, and we're going to call that okie dokie, okie pokey. So, we're going to set this up. I'm just going to use this little ingot here to set it up so it has somewhere to drip all over the place. And I'm going to grab a pence brush because it doesn't matter what you use really to spread epoxy. It's super user friendly. Uh, you can mess it up, but, you know, usually you don't. So now we have that levitated, and we're just going to slowly pour on our epoxy. We're going to overuse it because obviously I mixed too much just to make sure I had enough. It doesn't take nearly as much as I'm using right now. Uh, and then you're just going to take your paintbrush and kind of, you can use a, a credit card, squeegees, all of that good stuff as well. And you want it to completely go over your edges and start falling off so it'll coat the whole piece. And then when this is dry, more than likely I'll epoxy the back side uh, just to kind of finish it off a little, you know, make it look really nice and you could display it on your table. Uh, desk at work, you know, all that good stuff. And if you're just joining us, we're using zebra wood and pewter uh, for the metal that we inlaid into this wonderful little YouTube play button that is so fun uh, and all that good stuff. So yeah, the reason we were making this play button is because my daughter Olivia, who just started her uh, her own channel actually, Olivia's Super Show, the Olivia Super Show, which is pretty fun. I'll have to put a link on the bottom of that one for that one. Uh, it's just a really fun show for her, but uh, she's really, she's seven, really into watching the YouTube lately. So I did it for my other daughter. I made it for her favorite channel, made them a play button. So I figured, hey, why not make one for her? Because she had mentioned it. Uh, and from what I hear, YouTube takes a while for their delivery of YouTube play buttons. So, you know, hey, just thought of this this morning. It's already almost done. It'll be hopefully shipping out sometime soon. And that would be totally awesome. All right, so we're gonna put a little more on here. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to get out the bubbles and make this thing super, super shiny. After that, and see, oh, this whole process is very relaxing, very fun. You know, depending on what you're into, uh, it's just you know, it's real, it's just cool. You just hang out, just watch the bubbles spread some some liquid plastic basically all around and. Just really neat. So let's make sure we got this everywhere. And you can also finish this with uh, your favorite finish, urethane and all that good stuff. Make me something so I can buy. Yeah, sure. Uh, we can make stuff that people can buy as long as it's not copyrighted. Uh, we just recently made, we do a lot of donating of things. Like I just made a Minecraft uh, real life desk that is really cool uh made it for a really good cause and some kids in new york and it came out really really awesome I'm really excited with the way it came out uh but you can definitely check that video out anytime and oh thank you matthew uh but yeah you could uh we have a website furniture by jason so you know if you guys are ever uh into the market for special pieces I'm working on a He-Man table that's inspired by the TV show or the, yeah, soon-to-be movie He-Man. Uh, it's going to be really cool. 
So we do a lot of fun one-off things, more like cartoon influenced and uh, video game influenced furniture and neat stuff like that. So now, I don't know if you could see it uh, with the camera the way it is right now, but there's a ton of bubbles all over the top here. And what I did was I went to Sally's Beauty Supply, uh, even though I have no hair, and they probably looked at me like I was crazy, but I asked them for a nice squeegee little squirt bottle that they use for hairspray. And what this does is, I don't know if you can see it, it makes a beautiful mist, there you go, of acetone. So don't spray this in your hair, but it works out so well because you want a fine mist. You can normally, a lot of people that use epoxy use one of these with propane connected to it, uh, and you can heat it up, and what happens is the, the displacement of gas gets rid of all the bubbles, but the acetone is totally awesome, so much easier to use, and literally you just want to use a very little bit. So we're going to mist it over the whole thing, and literally all the bubbles just disappeared. So you could do that about every five minutes while the epoxy's drying, depending on how much you want to baby this thing and hang out with it. <coughs> so it's, it's like seriously awesome. It, I wish I could show you a little better. Let's see, I'll hold it up just to kind of give you a better view. And here it comes, here it comes. So you can see it is, got to clean up all the bottom where it's dripping and my hand's shaking from this angle. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, mirror-like finish on here, mirror shine. Uh, epoxy is a slow drying thing, so it's going to take roughly 12 to 24 hours. 24 hours for a fuel, uh, fuel a full cure, uh, but it should be pretty cool. And I pretty much guarantee that no one else has a zebra wood play button uh, with a metal pewter inlay. So it will be more one of a kind, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. So if there is no other questions, feel free to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Olivia's Super Show, uh, that channel as well. Subscribe to everybody. Everybody's cool. Uh, but until next time, we will see you guys later, and uh, we'll be building something else even more fun.